Live for it. a new gear this year and she's showing the academic results to prove it. We know the quiet hours she's put in. Tom is thriving. He's really settled into his new boarding house, made great friends. I mean, he talks too much, but I imagine that comes as a little surprise to you. Her hockey is impressive and the county call-up was completely deserved. She made us all very proud that day. His success with the debating team has definitely boosted his confidence in the classroom as well. But the most obvious thing... And the most important thing is that she's very happy at Worth. Is that he is very happy at Worth. Hello and welcome to East Grinstead Sports Club. I'm Tess Howard, your commentator, and here we have East Grinstead Women's Ones versus Wimbledon Women's Ones in the first game of phase three. It's very exciting. My co-commentator later will be Ellie Rea, fellow GB player. And the world GB is constantly player, in motion. And we'll be aiming to give you some unbiased commentary on this exceptional match ahead of us. We'll be going through the team sheets shortly. As we start phase three, East Grinstead versus Wimbledon, we will be going through the team now. We will start with the home team, East Grinstead. Some key names, Izzy Field, our youngster in goal, has had an exceptional few games. Lily Walker at right back, she is looking fierce at the moment. Liv Breed up front, number 15, a youngster to watch. Sophie Bray, obviously, dangerous in front of goal. And one more shout out, it's gotta be Grace Ballsden, number 31, with a demon drag flick and aerials and distribution. So watch out for those players today. And uh, the opposition today, Wimbledon, have a star-studded team. 
They came from the bottom six and are here to, to prove a point, I imagine. Some key names for you. Fiona Crackles, number 21. She is fierce in the midfield. Paige Gillett playing at the back, came from Beeston last year, so she is a, a force to be reckoned with. And I'd give you one more name, and that's Anna Toman, their captain, who is a England and Great Britain um, medalist. She is one of my teammates, and uh, she, is, she is one to watch today at right back. Watch that right to left drag. The umpires today are Rob Jenkins and Andy Poulain, and our match official is James Boylan. Welcome to them, thank you so much for joining, and welcome to everyone watching. As it stands, our leagues, we are in pool B, but um, now we're in phase three, there are two pools. In our pool, as you can see, Bowdoin, EG, Reading, and Wimbledon, and the top two go through to the playoffs. So it's very important, every game matters now, and the whole league is scrapped from where we were in phase one and two. Definitely need to give a few shout outs to those watching. First of all, my mother. Hello, Pippa Howard. It's lovely to, to see you popping up. Number one EG supporter. Another number one EG supporter is Marcel Faustich, father of Anna Faustich. And I should apologize for not giving Anna a shout out earlier because she is definitely a demon in the midfield and up front. And I think I've got a feeling she's going to score Marcel. So thanks so much for watching, guys.
Hello, everybody. Um, back here, and I've actually got a uh, a mascot. Remind me your name. Ethan. Ethan, are you excited for the game? Yes. <laughs> Tell me about what you're most excited for. Uh, hockey. Yes. Um, who, anybody got a score predicting they want to say? Yes. Um, two one. Eg. Two one. Eg. Hunter, you got a score prediction? Five one. Five one. Hunter says yes. One one. One one. Anyone else? 10-1 from Sa Samara in the back. Sorry, 1-1 one, one means we go to shootout. No way! So if it's 1-1, one, one, who's winning we the shootout? shootout? Say again. We want a shootout. They want a shootout. We want just the win, though. Brody. Finley, what do you think? Uh, I think I want one a, one a shootout. Just because it's exciting. I want 0-0, nil, nil, but we win the shootout. That's not very exciting, though, is it? <laughs> uh, thanks so much to all of the mascots that we have. Um, must say that everybody is welcome from all clubs to come and be a mascot. So that's a very important knowledge that you need to know. Lily Walker's giving me a smile. Are you excited for the game, Lil? She says, yeah, man. Anna Svolstich, quickly on the mic. Tell us how you're feeling. Good, good. I think we'll important match. I think we'll win, but yeah. <laughs> Epic. Right, here we go. Let's go to Irish very quickly pre-match. Give us one line about the game. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a really fast-paced game. Both teams fighting for the points, so I'm sure it'll be a very good game to watch. Epic. Thanks, Irish. All right. Let's just go to the opposition very quickly. Lucy Holder, one, not one line, one word. One word to describe the game. Um, very exciting. Very exciting, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, we're about to have the line out. And the teams are out. Here we go for the big game. Game one of phase three. Here we go, Susie. Thank you to everyone who has made the effort to tune into the live stream. Myself, Tess Howard, and my co-commentator, Ellie Rea. Elle, how are you doing? <laughs> Nerves, of course, because this game actually matters, and for a while, they haven't. <laughs> Anyone to watch for you in Wimbledon? Can you hear me now? Ellie Rea, talk to us. Tell I've not done this too much before. Um, yeah, I think Fiona Crackles one to watch for Wimbledon. I think Anna Toman at the back one to watch for Wimbledon. Um, I think Olivia Chilton at front one to watch for Wimbledon as well. Um, Olivia Chilton, interesting, because normally, you know, it's quite typical for us just to pick out the uh, GB players. But talk, talk to me about Olivia Chilton. I think that we are lucky that there's a lot of GB players on show here, but there's a lot of very, very as well. um, and I think we shouldn't neglect that. Um, Chilts normally is full of energy and runs around and causing a little bit of havoc, so I think she'll be an exciting threat up front for Wimbledon. Very good insight. And ourselves in the white and blue, any any thoughts on us? I mean, I could, could praise our team all day long. Um, no, I think we, again, have a really nice, exciting squad. Um, this is the return of Laura Roper, first game back. Um, after Christmas, which is really exciting, so see what she can add to the team today. But yeah, uh, I think it'll be exciting. Who are you watching from EG? From EG, I'm, I'm actually, I'm similar to you in terms of the club players need to get more recognition, and I just think Amy Thompson in our back line with the headband, the white headband, is an absolute star for us. You know, the all-white look as well. She's dangerous. Um, in terms of tackling ability she's she's just out of this world so I'm, I'm excited for it we're about to start here we go i say we do draws at training often and you, you lose points if you run through forehand and whichever team <laughs> tomo isn't on <laughs> seem to lose a lot of points running into tomo and we're off lily walker with the ball
good aggressive start from East Grinstead. I think this game before Christmas was a 3-2 a win to Wimbledon, am I right in thinking? Yeah, I seem to remember a frustrating few goals going in. Wimbledon with their first bit of possession attacking down the right. Olivia Chilton on the ball cutting in. There's that Chilton that we were talking about. Lovely idea from Sophie, but Liv quite, couldn't quite get onto that. So Wimbledon have had an interesting ride to this game, given that they ended up actually in the bottom six, which was a shock given their star-studded team. Um, but they made it into the top two of that bottom six, and so hence are here today. Good pass in from Lily Walker to Pippa Lock. It's a dangerous combination in the middle of that for Wimbledon. Fiona Crackers winning the ball playing it straight to Flora Peel. Probably one to watch out for there, uh, that partnership in the middle. Yeah, Flora's only had one game back with uh, Wimbledon so far after uh, dealing with a calf injury, but it's nice to see her back. It's also quite confusing because Flora's 28, Crackles is 21, <laughs> and they both sport similar hairstyles. So um, it'll be one of the two in the middle. Ball's just gone off for a long corner. Beth Bingham on the ball. Welsh international. Welsh captain. Welsh captain, my apologies. Welsh captain. Good touch from Chloe Brown there. I will call her Irish at some point during this game. I probably shouldn't, but just so you know who I'm talking about. Chloe Brown, Irish, just come back from captaining Ireland to European indoor promotion to the A division. She got player of the tournament. She's a bit of a hero. Exceptional indoor player. Cool as a cucumber, which I think is something that we can really leverage on um, in the back line for us as well today. Always a little bit of a cagey start, I think, and this probably highlights that, doesn't it? Just both teams trying to find their rhythm. That is lovely vision from Fiona Crackles. That's what she really offers Wimbledon here. And probably their first real attack into their 25 has yielded a corner all from that turn in midfield from Fiona Crackles and a bold hit cross to help side. I'm going to say I think that's a little bit unlucky. I don't have the benefit of seeing a video replay, um, but unlucky there, so come on, girls. I like how Izzy, our goalie, EG goalie, prowls the, the goal, making sure Wimbledon know that she's in charge. <laughs> Toman stepping up on the right-hand side, Castle. Great save from Izzy Field. Unfortunately, the ball was deemed to play be played directly off the back line, and so it's another corner. What do you reckon? First move of the game, they called a slip. I think they're clearly frightened of our number one runner. <laughs> At the far cost this time, Tomans on the ball. Great save from Izzy Excellent Field there. Excellent save. That is what we like to see. Really good number one running, as I said. They're frightened of it. Live, breed, fast off the blocks. <laughs> G 
great pressure from Mauser. She's got the energy. Jurisel Bunny up front there right now. Pressing. Do you think she might be the fastest on the pitch now that you're not playing? I think she might be, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna give her that. I reckon fastest in an EG shirt. Yeah, Fiona Crackles, obviously. I reckon Crackles could rival her. Um, Wimbledon with possession. Wimbledon. Another corner one. Not the ideal start we probably would have wanted for the girls, but it's all right, flow of the game. It's chill. We thought the, uh, the first few minutes was always gonna be a bit tight. But you know, we ride this pressure, we'll be fine. Take real confidence as well from good PCD. What's your predictions for this corner? What are they gonna call? I think Toman's gonna slap it for R2. Anyone Let's willing wait and to see. Bet, bet me on this. Lovely running from Livbreed there. I'm thankful that I was wrong. It's all broken down a little bit, but well intercepted from Liv. Good from Lockie. Good step out. Wimbledon definitely up for this game, aren't they? Clearly been bored in the lower half of the league. <laughs> Just joking, obviously. Um, it's good to see them with energy, with fire. Also must give a shout out to their coach, who is now officially England president. Mm, big job there. Of course, Alex Danson Bennett, we are talking about. Very exciting for her to be named England hockey president. That was a close one. Um, <laughs> nice strike from Toman. Fortunately for us, it was off target. Um, but that's probably a bit of the threat that we need to watch out for. Yes, and we welcome Laura Roper to the field, number 10. Welcome back. And I'm sure she's going to add an element of stability for us in the midfield here. Just the umpire warning number six, Anna Toman, that he did not want to see any of that again. And I would agree with the umpire. I don't want to see anything on Sally Syme of that nature. Alex Mouser with the ball. She is an exciting one. Right idea. We just need to keep pressing forward and going forward. Yeah, I think that little last attack was a little bit of something, a little bit of EG. We just need to find our game a bit more. Yeah. Wrestle back the momentum. Laura Roper, ball into G, she's got her head up. She's trying to thread it through to Sophie Bray running forward, but Maz is now there to tidy it up. Unlucky from there. Number 24 for Wimbledon on the ball, and it's off the back line. The combination between Grace and Lily Walker is something that I have loved this second half of the season. Look how dynamic she is on the ball. One time I think she went from the 25 to the goal and scored. You know, she's, she's just got that sort of speed, dynamism, ability to roll into different shapes. Play wherever on the pitch, versatile. experience of Laura over there. She's channeling the Wimbledon girl off the pitch almost. Doesn't need to make a tackle, just waits for her to make a mistake. We're just hearing, hot off the press, that Hampstead have 
just beaten Nottingham University, our sources are telling us. Um, that's what the table's showing um, on England Hockey Online. A 9-3. I mean, let's get on to see if we can Rumor find... Rumour has it, it's 9-3. See if we Hampstead. can confirm or deny any of this. Nottingham, which would be quite remarkable. We can say that last weekend, unfortunately, the Nottingham number one goalkeeper sustained an injury against us. We don't believe she's playing today, um, which could make a difference. Brilliant block there from Molly Mason. Save from Izzy Field. That is exceptional play from Izzy Field just to keep those out. That's th two, three very good shots from Wimbledon. And Izzy should take real confidence from that. She is becoming a bit of a rock for us there. Good pressure from Courtney. Wimbledon on the attack again. Olivia Chilton. Really nice idea from Wimbledon to get the ball into the centre. Unfortunately, no forwards uh, deep enough to receive that ball from Crackles, but uh, I, do, I do like that direct play. Good I unit play from East Grinster down that right-hand side. An EG sideline, which Wimbledon don't seem too happy about foot from Fiona Crackles in the middle, so EG looked to try and get the ball going again. EG just rolling into a slightly different shape. Looks Courtney like into the circle. Yes, well and done. that's a corner. Courtney Hansford. Lovely job. Calmly rolls, puts the ball on the foot. Corner, happy days. It's a little bit more of what we're going to see from our girls, isn't it? I think that's really good. That's the first D entry, really, and to win a corner straight away, that's really smart from Courtney as well, knowing that probably can't get a lot out of that in terms of a shot. So winning a corner, very professional, definitely showing her experience in the Prem. I'm most excited to see a Grace Borsden on the near castle. Score up. Inject to the near castle, Grace Borsden flick. Paige Gillett flicks. Paige Gillett managed to trap that coming in. Very nicely done. Um, we can give you a score update coming from the service in Clifton currently. Um, Clifton are currently 1 0 up at the end of the first quarter down at Serbiton. Phase three does get exciting, doesn't it? Phase three where the results mean everything. Wimbledon did well off the counter of our corner, now attacking. Amy Thompson is there to mop up yet again. Plays it forward to Sally Syme. Who's driving hard. Back to Alex Mauser, who throws the aerial forward. The aerial is too big. <laughs> too big. She's been in the gym too much. But it's a nice idea. I think probably should have waited for numbers, but it's, it's a good idea. Want to see the creativity and the flair coming out a little bit more. Courtney's gone to press hard. This is brilliant from Courtney. She's got the ball. Can she get a shot off? Can she find some help? It's Unfortunately, no advantage played from the umpire, which I think is a bit harsh.
Lovely between Laura Roper and Molly Mason there. Laura Roper running forward. That was a lovely ball forward there. Um, unlucky and lovely idea. I feel like we're growing into this a little bit more now, starting to play our game and how we'd probably like to be playing as an yeah, EG group. Yeah, I think there's a, probably a few nerves playing Wimbledon. You know, historically we have very tight games with them, so I'm sure players just finding their feet in this game, which is totally fine. Um, I can confirm that Hampstead Nottingham, Hampstead beat Nottingham 9-3. Could that be the biggest score in the Prem? Biggest score this year, I reckon. Yeah, well, I would say. 12 goals in a game. Ah. I think we have about one minute to go. That is a lovely ball from Grace Balls and straight through the middle to Laura Roper. Plays it forward to Alice Mauser. She's quick. I reckon she's going to get that. Can she do something? Ooh. Oh, unlucky. She kept it on, but just couldn't connect with someone. Lovely from Courtney. She's throwing the ball away. And that's a card. Ill discipline there from Wimbledon. She's throwing the ball away. Time! 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 Green card for number twin number ten, Becky Manton. That's unlucky because Liv Liv always gets in there, so does Mauser, so sometimes you will hear a little stick contact, but for me I always just think Plow it. What do you think on sometimes the noise being blown because you hear a noise? Do you think that ever happens? I think that's just lazy umpiring to blow if it's just a noise. And that is... Oh, no, it, it's an EG ball. And now oh, that's quarter time. Never mind. End of quarter one, nil-nil, down here at St. Hill. Thoughts, Tess Howard? Thoughts from myself. KG from EG, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think Wimbledon showing really good discipline, I think, on the whole, um, in terms of their structure, and they're looking very threatening. I think excellent saves from Izzy Field. I would like to see a little more ball with EG in high transfer, a bit more patience, and as we can see, when we get in the D, winning corners, we're dangerous. I like it. Great. Well, we're going to give you a few minutes rest from our boys. We'll be back in a minute. And we're back. You've had your one minute rest from <laughs> Tess and myself, but we're back on the mic again, um, ready to hopefully entertain for quarter two. Can people comment on YouTube? Oh, have we got some comments on YouTube. What comments have we got? Love it. That could be Amy Thompson. That could be Anna Toman. Oh, sorry. Hopefully you can hear me now, Pippa. Words of wisdom. Yeah. EG looking strong in this first minute. 
lovely little touch from G. Let's say she meant that. Oh, yes! This is a lovely finish from Ace Grinsard. Phenomenal! Liv Breed with the goal. Um, Excellent start from EG. Lily Walker goes to hit the ball forward. G gets a touch. It falls to Mauser. Mauser puts it into the D. Sally Syme, I think, gets a touch. Sophie Bray on the going. reverse dinks it across. For replay. And Liv Breed dives on the back We're post. Not. My apologies, I think she dives. She might Ellie not. Ellie has just talked through the goal. 1 0 to EG. You see, that is just a little something something of both East Grints, isn't it? The the little touches. Bray seeing the ball just falling there and doing a one touch pass to the back post. We've been drilling so much that sort of those moments count in the D. It also shows the importance again. of just having someone occupying those important spaces in the D. Having someone on the back post and Liv's not gonna score a much easier goal than that issue. Absolutely, but it's the awareness, you know, she's 18 years old and she is on the back post. She knows the role. Mm -hmm. She's there diving as well. What we like to see. What we like to see is a floor to score. <laughs> How do you think Wimbledon will be feeling, Elle? I think they started the first quarter probably with a bit more of the momentum, came out the blocks harder. Um, and you could say maybe that's come slightly against the run of play. But I think you can see the confidence in East Grinsford have sort of just stepped out, put a bit more pressure onto them um, and grown into it. So hopefully if we can capitalise on this, um, kind of shoot Wimbledon down a little bit. What I'd really like to see is a consistent rest of this quarter now with this goal. I know EG, we both know that EG love to score goals. And I think if we just keep pushing, we're not settling for this 1-0. Keep going, put pressure on them. I think you'll see Wimbledon start to um, start to rattle. <laughs> Good skill there from Flora Peel. Mauser and Sally Simon on her. Just turns, gives the ball out. And they now look to play down the right hand side. I think sometimes those intercepts that Amy Thompson and Grace make just, just don't really get the uh, the praise that they deserve because it's really about positioning and just Amy Thompson showing her class there as a spare just to position in the right Lovely place. receive from Liv. Alex Mauser pops the ball across to Sophie Bray. Oh, Wimbledon playing for a foot. They get the call. Sophie Bray doesn't look very happy. I think there is a classic case of Bray having more skill than we can really contemplate. <laughs> the fact that the ball goes through her legs and people assume it must have hit their foot. Her She's foot. jumping back hard though now. That's what you like to see from Sophie Bray. She wins the ball, picks it from her back pocket and now Mauser goes forward. Umpire just saying that's a great take from Sophie and even he's impressed. That's some lovely link in the play there between Mauser and Sally. Mauser, a little 3D lift into the top D, plays the ball forward to live. EG want a foot. It's not been seen. Long corner for EG. Kind of almost want Mauser just to do one more little 3D and see if she could go herself, you know? But excellent play from her, showing her class. Say, so I drove Mauser here today and I, we, we told her we wanted a goal from her today. Still a long game to go. A long way. When we didn't just settle, try and get the players into position, and now we're back in play. EG are definitely pressing a little bit harder here. A battle I love to see in the midfield is this Guada number seven us versus Crackles. Irish, she picks the ball in reverse, a spin. And Rob Jenkins just tells her to take it back from where the foul was committed. <laughs> I can just say I've just looked at my phone. 
off the back of the Hampstead Nottingham game. And I've seen that we have some fellow fans tuning in watching. So can I give a shout out to Sarah Robertson and Lily Owsley? Um, well done on your 9-3 win. Um, I hope you're enjoying this game, this commentary. Hello, everybody tuning in. This is EG versus Wimbledon, if you did not know. It's very exciting. 1-0 up for EG. Ellie Ray and myself chatting. Thank you so much to Ellie's mum, who says that Ellie and I are great commentators. More of that praise will, is, is very much welcomed. <laughs> Thanks, mum. I should add, if you guys don't follow East Grinstead Women's Ones, do so <laughs> on Instagram. Back to the game at hand, Wimbledon with a long corner. That was an exceptional effort from Olivia Chilton. We highlighted her as one to watch, number eight. Lovely ball across from Susie Petty in the dive. Unfortunately, dove near post. And as we know, that doesn't tend to work out. Nice to see EG rolling into their shape again. Gracie hitting the ball forward. Spare getting a touch on it. Long corner to EG. It's a good tackle from Susie Petty. Good step from Molly Mason. Wimbledon sideline. Jen Eady on the ball there, plays it right. Wimbledon playing a nice sort of interchange down the right hand side. Thank you very much, Javier. So if anyone's listening has any questions that they want to they want me to ask Tess at half time, put them in the comments. Um, Cheers, Ellie. <laughs> I can get on that one. <laughs> Amy Thompson on the ball. As I said before, she is definitely one to watch. Extremely talented. Bit of a loose pass from Laura Roper, but Tomo is there with her lacrosse skills to pick up the ball. The dynamism from Lily Walker at right half, just interchanging with Laura Roper, as you can see. Nice hands there, but good step from Molly Mason. Seems to be a game into the midfield areas at the moment. Not much penetration either side. Here we have Jen Eady in the middle. She loves to find those through balls. Oh, and the umpires deemed that inside the D. And <laughs> here we have a corner for Wimbledon. As I just said, there was not much penetration. <laughs> so, I think um, that was inside the D. I think, yeah. unfortunately for Grace, um, just hit her foot. So Wimbledon have an opportunity. Yeah. Well watched then from the umpire, exceptional eyes. Great opportunity for EG to showcase PCD again, something we love. I'm predicting a Jen Eady straight strike off the Newcastle. Jen Eady is stepping up, looking strong, and the Toman on the right castle. Jen Eady is number unsure. 
Far Castle, Anna Toman. She hits it, unfortunately, too high, just above the backboard, and that rule means it is a free hit to EG. Interesting that they're going to Toman. That's her second st straight strike. I mean, both Jenny Eady and Anna Toman um, are pretty fierce with the, with the straight strikes, so not bad options to have. Excellent vision from Molly to find Laura Roper in the middle. I don't know why I'm calling her full name. It's just coming off the tongue. Thompson's Thompson. there again. Under pressure. Don't worry, she is absolutely fine under pressure. Lovely hands Excellent from Molly Mason. Skills. Unfortunately, the third one did tackle her. Lily Walker's there to mop up into the middle. Plays it out wide to Anna Folstish. That's well covered, covered by GD. Sorry, Jen ED. Scottish International and GB International. Half-time update uh, from Serbiton Clifton. It's currently 2-1 to Serbiton. Good skills from Courtney. Unfortunately, just gets tackled. Both teams look to play quite direct when they can get the ball, seeing the space forward, throwing it. Yeah, not too much combination play. It'd be quite nice to see a few more interlinked passes, I think, especially from EG. If we could open up our right-hand side attack as we go here. Sophie throws the ball in, Alex Mauser picks it up at the top of the circle, gets a head up, tries to fling it in. EG retain the ball, get ready to go again. Pippa Lock on the ball. Just trying to go direct into the D, picked up. Lucy Holder on the ball here. Again, Molly Mason. Maybe not the cleanest, but that's probably an important bit of play broken down there for EG. Absolutely. When these moments happen of transition, you just got to break down the play if you can. Lucy Holder for Wimbledon, fellow Cambridge City player. Her and I grew up together playing Cambridge City. Yeah, Lucy is, is ex EG. She is also ex EG. As is uh, Lydia McDonnell. And I believe that Sally Simon is ex. I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say it in case I'm wrong. Transition moment for Wimbledon. <gasps> oh goodness, that was close. Olivia Chilton's cross could not have been more perfect, unless it had gone in the goal, probably. Wimbledon with a little bit of energy, a little bit of wind in their sails, if you will. Lovely pick from Gracie. She finds Sophie Bray, oh, unfortunate. Yeah. 
two and a half minutes left of this quarter, roughly. EG got to find a way to break this down. First one given outside the D, free hit to Wimbledon. EG's deep in defense. Oh, we're into the last minute. Strong from Mauser. Can she play it through? Sally Syme chasing it. <laughs> cool as a cucumber from Anna Toman. Classic Toman there. And EG committed numbers, and now we have a transition. Sort of settled now. Just going into the final few seconds of this quarter half. Good direct ball from Jen Eady. Almost came off. If EG can just keep it here. Really good defense from Molly Mason to win that free hit for EG, relieve some pressure and hopefully see out this first half. Slightly physical receive there, Sophie Gray gets a free hit. Mauser's on it nice and quick. Great jump back from Olivia Chilton, but G's got it back again. Mauser's got it back to G. Unfortunately, the reverse stick didn't quite come off for the Argentinian captain, as in the Argentinian <laughs> who is our captain. <laughs> Lovely set from G. Flora nice and calm. Feels like this has been the longest minute of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and there is the final whistle for the first half. Um, we finished the first half with a score currently 1-0 to EG. Um, we'll see you in 10 minutes or so. The world is constantly in motion, moving fast, and it all runs on data. By the power of technology, we bring people together, wherever they are, and keep the data they depend on flowing round the clock. Our data center, cloud and mobility solutions, support business critical functions in the most innovative and demanding sectors. From genetic science and cancer research to autonomous vehicles and space exploration, we build automated data centers, driving sustainable energy, helping to conserve our planet. Our technology connects you to the data and the people you need. Safely, securely, and reliably. Focus. 
powering your digital transformation. Welcome back to East Grinstead versus Wimbledon. Score is East Grinstead 1, Wimbledon 0. Myself, Tess Howard, and my co-commentator, Ellie Rea, are here to talk you through the second half of the game. Ellie, I hear there's some big news in the league. Would you like to share the most recent score update? Uh, I believe the most recent score update is a 1-1 one, one to Beeston. Beeston Loughborough, 1-1. Correct. One, one. <laughs> Pardon? 1-1 one, one to Beeson, 1-1 one, one to Loughborough, it doesn't matter which way. Um, which is obviously a big game down in the bottom four relegation playoff. Um, I'm not really sure what that means, um, but I know that's quite a big result. But we just thought we'd share. Yeah. We are underway, Wimbledon, floor appeal on the ball. And we must give a... Oh, Laura Roper with the turnover. To Bray. Bray, back to Roper. Well disrupted by Fiona Crackles there, showing her speed. Lovely tackle from Irish there. Chloe Brown, sorry. Chloe Brown, AKA Irish, because she's from Ireland. We're not very original with nicknames. That ball from Paige is creating a bit of chaos, but don't worry, Grace is there to mop it up. The Argentinian on the ball now, the Irish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we have a few international players in our team, don't we? We have an Irish person, an Argentinian person, an Australian person. Walk into a pub, <laughs> <laughs> as the joke goes. Lovely from Laura Roper in the middle. Unzi, if you will. <laughs> Gracie's back. Shorts are still going. Finds Fiona Crackles. 
looks for the aerial, but it doesn't quite come off. So Mauser regains the ball and forward she goes. Look at this pace from Mauser. Lays it off to Courtney. Lovely, Lovely. ball down the line. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> oh, that is exceptional. Oh, unfortunately, I think it is not so great. That's going to be a 10-minute yellow to Liv Breed. That is unfortunate for Liv. Could have been a diving goal. Hate to say it, but I have been in that position before, and so as a youngster, you do sort of need to, to learn that. Unfortunate for Liv. Hope Anna Tame is okay. Looks like she's taken a bit of a knock there. Yeah, definitely hope Toman is okay. She looks like she's walking it off, which is great. E.g. down to 10 players for 10 minutes. Mm. Just to clarify, that rule is because Liv has gone to, the player has gone to ground before um, the ball and taking out the player alongside her and any any ground taking out of a player is an immediate 10 minute yellow due to safety. We've got eight likes. Thank you so much everyone who's liked this. If you're watching this and you haven't liked it, please can you like it because it helps us with our metrics and helps hockey grow. So really you're doing hockey a favor. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pick there from Amy Thompson. <laughs> Irish now there to mop it up in the D as the ball's fed in. Ellie, how do the tactics for East Grinstead change now that we are down to 10? It's a good question, Tess. <laughs> um, I think EG will play with one less forward. I think most teams would. Um, I think it's going to be a case of looking after the ball, not doing anything too silly, um, and just playing playing smart. Um, bit of sportsmanship in it. The ball goes off the back line. Just take those extra few seconds to get the ball back in play. Um, it's a, a tough scenario now. Ten minutes is a long time to be a player down. Um, <laughs> See that confusion there? That's just eaten into a few seconds and bits like that. That's what you're going to need. But like some of the Wimbledon players are, yeah, wanting to get this game going and have a bit more of an impact. Probably a bit frustrated that their earlier chances in the game didn't come off. We'll have a foot in the middle of the pitch there. Um, would you rather? In the middle of the pitch or just take the sideline quickly? Would you rather? <laughs> I'd rather the middle of the pitch, I think. We can give you another update from down at Sugden Road. Uh, Surbiton 3, Clifton 1. In the third quarter right now. Laura Roper just taking her time there, not quite what she intended. Lydia McDonald on the ball. Flora Peel. Very good ball to help side to find Beth Bingham, Welsh captain. Plays out the line. I believe that's Emily Reese, youngster, with a lovely ball across. Lydia McDonald dives in, but she just can't quite connect with it. Interesting. A few dives from Wimbledon haven't quite come off, but really good crosses.
Pippa Lock just dis dispossessed there by Wimbledon. Here's where you see some of the class that Lily Walker has in these pockets. She's, she's a bit of a wizard. <laughs> and the wizardry pays off. <laughs> Lily Walker with the bright yellow wand. <laughs> Grace on the ball now. <laughs> nice Grace and calm there also from Grace. a bit of a wizard. Gets the ball, takes it quick before the Wimbledon can set. Down to Pippa Lock on the left hand side. She shows her pace, she starts to go. She's won the foul, moves off it for Grace Borsen to come onto the ball. I need you to build and go around the back. Woman didn't take it quick with an aerial into floor in the middle. She looks direct. Lovely touch from Lucy, but Grace Paulson's there to mop that it up. That is excellent running back from Grace, given that she was just up in the 25. She win. Good game management from EG at the moment, I'd say. That is a beautiful pass. Physical battle won by Wimbledon just there, but good pressure from EG. <laughs> Who is there to mop it up, Ellie Rea? Amy Thompson. Amy Thompson. It's a name you should know, everybody. <laughs> she is a demon at the back. We've got about three more minutes left on EG's yellow card right now. Um, three more minutes to see if Wimbledon can capitalise or if EG can ride it out. Laura Roper on the ball. Forward she goes and wins the sideline. Anna Toman on the ball. Um, I can give a shout out as well to Janice Toman watching from the French Alps. Quite the setup. Um, the hockey and the rugby on right now. Um, hope you're enjoying, Janice. No, the Island game is on, I think. Island game is on, which is Toman's team, rugby wise. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> she plays for England <laughs> in Great Britain. <laughs> Really nice dynamism on the ball from Grace. Here's the Argentinian. Oh my word, that was nice. <laughs> Wimbledon getting serious numbers around the ball. Um, EG doing well, just to maintain possession. Lily Walker clears the lines, but Anna Thoman clears it, and Wimbledon it to go again. Wimbledon ball. We have another update from Serbiton. Uh, they are currently 4-1 up and they've just finished the third quarter. Not long left on the yellow card now. Aerial won by Sophie Bray, here we go. Courtney Hansford looks like she's getting ready to go on in place for Liv Breed. Olivia Chilton again. She's a live wire on the pitch right now. It's good vision from Jenny. Amy there, Thompson. Turning. But of course, Thompson's there. To Lucky to Bray. Bray secures the ball. Just looks where the numbers are. And back out to Lily Walker.
Not yet. And are we back now? No, we're not. Almost, so almost back to 11. Mm. Yeah. Some lovely strength from Sophie Bray. Wins the foul. We think that's the 10 minutes up. EG back to 11. Yeah. Two, four, six. Yeah, and Nick Reed goes back on. EG have read in that period well. Grace Borsden on the ball right now. Plays it into Irish. Lovely, Lovely little, little pass. Oh, oh deemed, deemed back stick, unfortunate. I disagree with that one there. Jen Edie out wide, looks long, decides to carry. Nicole Bowen on the ball. Great tackle from Liv, instant impact. Well Good done. from Liv Breed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Paige Gillett carrying her ball forward. Oh, and that's another card for East Grinstead. That's Courtney Hansford with a green card. Four minutes to go in this quarter, maybe, roughly. Amy Thompson reads that ball like a book. EG Force just to play the game that we have in front of us. Another couple of minutes down to 10 men, but, but we've shown we're fine. Ball's gone forward. Who is it again? Amy Thompson. Both teams just looking a little bit more frantic right now. Um, they seem to settle back into it again. So, great question from Pippa Howard on the YouTube, wondering how phase three works. So, we got to understand phase three by understanding phase one and phase two. So phase one, all 12 teams play each other. Phase two is a top six and bottom six. Top six are automatically in phase three and the bottom six play off for the top two to go into phase to three. To create the top eight. To create a top eight. <laughs> Which are if you're split. still <laughs> with me, we are in phase three, the top eight. Top eight get put into two different pools, pool A and pool B. We are in pool B. And it's based on your positioning in the league. Pool A consists of the first, fourth, fifth and eighth team. Um, whereas pool B is obviously second, third, sixth and seventh. Um, and to finish that all off, you have to come in the top two of your pool of the top eight, of the top four of each <laughs> <laughs> pool you're still with me, then you go to the finals and you play a semi-final and a final crossover game of each of the top two of the pool. Mm -hmm. I hope that clears it up. We can also add that there's a pool C, which is your bottom four teams who are playing off to avoid relegation. Um, you carry your points forward from the rest of the season and two teams will go down um, with the team from the North League and the South League then coming up to fill their place ready for next season. Um, we can confirm that next season Sutton Colford are coming back up. Um, Huge news. And we're not quite sure who's coming up from the South League yet, but there's a big game. I believe Barnes are playing Holcomb today, and that could be a bit of a decider as to who gets the promotion spot. Lovely ball forward from Wimbledon and Lucy Howard. Holder. She is not my sister, Ellie. It is. Sutton Coldfield is, in fact, Laura Unsworth, Laura Roper's first club. Um, 
happen so in Birmingham. Pippa Howard, just to confirm, this game matters because we are in a pool of four and we have to come top two to the, in order to get to the finals. The winner of Pool A will play the second place of Pool B and vice versa. Um, so everyone trying to obviously top the group um, as results stand at the moment. Obviously, two more weekends to play, but you look like you have Hampstead and Surbiton uh, sitting pretty in the other group at the moment. Just coming into the last minute or so of this quarter. EG are back to 11. Numbers on again. High ball in from floor appeal there. And that concludes quarter three for us. It's still 1-0 to East Grinstead down here at St. Hill right now. Uh, big last quarter coming up. Welcome back to quarter four, East Grinstead versus Wimbledon. Score is still EG one, Wimbledon nil. Really good management. Thompson to Lily Walker, showing her patience, showing her class. Amy Thompson just doing what she does best. Sorry, that's not what. <laughs> it's <laughs> normally what happens. <laughs> Lydia McDonald on the ball. Great tackle from Lily Walker. Very well watched. Safe break, connecting forward to Alex Mauser, who looks to play four ball to Lib Breed. And the ball's back in play, nice and quick. Anna Toman for Wimbledon there to mop up. Anna is just one of those brick walls, even at training. Maybe it's the number six. Do you reckon? Amy Thompson, number six. Anna <laughs> Toman, number six. That is an interesting... It's a good theory for today's game. 
Interesting theory. Let us know in the comments if you agree. Wimbledon will be throwing the kitchen sink at this fourth quarter to try and equalise. A reminder that if we e if Wimbledon equalise and the score remains a draw, it goes to shootouts, which is new for this year. Is it? I think it was the same last year, but I just don't think we went to a shootout in phase oh. three. It wasn't needed for us. Great direct ball from Lily Walker. Sophie Bray. Lily Walker's there. Strength on the ball, takes it quickly. Really great return well, one back tackle. from Alex Mauser. Tried and top deep, but Crackers is there. Women play the ball out wide. EG got numbers back. Really Bit good 3D work looks to pop it in. Animals there now to tidy up. See the work rate from both teams just to get back to break down these counter moments. Yeah, good high paced game so far. Sally Syme with the reverse tap. Olivia Chilson versus Alex Mauser. Mauser wins the ball. Puts it off the sideline and Tara tries to take it herself, but Rob Jenkins spots that and gives it back to Wimbledon. Good from Sally Syme. Sally Syme, one of those names you can only say full. Sally Syme. Sally Syme. Amy Thompson. Laura Roper. <laughs> Sophie Bray. <laughs> Apologies if you're still listening to this rubbish coming out of our mouths right now. Ball hit into the circle. On the forehand, just goes near post. Nothing for Izzy to do. Must say Izzy having a fantastic game. A few, few saves in the first half that have led to EG being in this strong position. So it's been quite a cagey game, really. Lots of corners for Wimbledon in the first quarter. EG had one, EG snuck a goal, um, but not too much elsewhere to report. I would agree, I would agree. I, I do think Wimbledon have been unlucky with their diving situation. They could have had a few goals, but um, really strong defense. Now, interestingly, Rumour has it Wimbledon practice taking off their keeper last game. Will they do it this, this game? I imagine so, given the context of phase three. Uh, we are totally aware of what the stakes are. Given there's only 11 minutes left, I would imagine sometime soon. Step, sorry there from Laura Unsworth. Um, it's a very good question. That test poses, will the keeper come off? Would you do it? I would. I would play with 11 outfield if I could the whole time. No, I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> it's high press. <laughs> we have a question in the comments um, from Marcel Faustich that I'm going to answer. He's asking um, EHL coming up for East Grinstead Ladies um, at the end of the month. Um, first game on Friday night against Amsterdam. What do we reckon? Um, what the thoughts? Um, for me, I think that's a pretty exciting opportunity. Um, it's the first time. Oh my 
Laura Roper with an excellent shot. I must have to praise Grace Borsden's slider slap down to uh, Unzi. Great hit across goal. The rebound hits a Wimbledon foot, clips it. Is that not the reason? It, yeah, my eagle eyes. And EG with a corner. I think Grace Borsen's fired up. She wants this flick. She wants the goal. Let's see what happens. Grace, for anyone who doesn't know, number 31, setting up on near castle. Lily Walker to inject. Far Out castle. to the far, Laura Roper with the slap. Oh, my days! It's a goal! It's come off Sophie Bray, or is Sophie that Laura Unsworth's goal? No, Sophie Bray deflects. Off the foot of the line. Wait, hang on. Say that We're again. not sure. Wimbledon are chatting to the umpire right now. The ball has crossed the line. There's a replay we can watch, but we've not seen it. This is currently 2 0 to East Grinstead. Happy days for us. There was some confusion. Did the ball go across the goal? But um, across, across the line, uh, uh, it went directly in. Um, so score 2-0. Excellent execution after a well-managed few minutes by East Grinstead. I'm just going to jump back to Marcel's question, if that's all right. Um, it's a really exciting opportunity for the ladies to go out there. And we're very excited to go out there and perform. Um, playing against Amsterdam in Amsterdam. <laughs> Marcel likes that Sophie's just scored. Um, but yeah, sorry, playing against Amsterdam in Amsterdam. We're under no illusions. It's going to be a tough game. Excellent play by Wimbledon. Can they get a goal? What it's a save. exceptional save <laughs> Izzy Field. Field. Brilliant save. Again, Wimbledon with a nice passage of play down the right-hand side. Fiona Crackle's instrumental in that and the ball goes cross goal, cannot finish because Izzy is there. The aerials are getting thrown left, right and centre here. Flora Peel's just throwing one, Alex Miles is just throwing one back. What I love in these little pockets is it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, Arsenal-like, Manchester City-like in terms of just playing out, just trust it. Unfortunately, that aerial was, was taken by Crackles. <laughs> <laughs> Wimbledon moving the ball round quite nicely. It's a lovely ball up the sideline. Definitely. Game's come alive a little bit in the last couple of minutes, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, I was going to say, obviously, Wimbledon have nothing to lose now. So you'll see probably even higher pressing, more energy, probably more risks. Lovely ball. Lovely ball. Oh, it's a bit of crossing there. Tess is correct. I think Wimbledon are taking their keeper off. They will have 11 players, outfield players on the pitch for the final six and a half minutes of this game. Now, obviously, EG have to manage the extra number but also poses an exceptional uh, sort of opportunity because if EG get a breakaway goal, you know, that puts the, bed, the game to bed. Well watched by Lily Walker in there. EG going to have to manage the numbers. Oh, exceptional from Izzy Field. That's gone off the back line. That's a slightly scary moment for EG there. Mauser and Lily Walker and Grace scrambling on the back line to make sure the ball does not go through. Izzy Field again. Wakes a wonderful save onto her post. 
they almost get the rebound and now. And EG win that through. free hit. Really well managed period. A very good direct ball from Paige and they're causing all that trouble. <laughs> Lovely idea there from Sally Sign. Now EG get back in. Alex Miles is there. She's saying there's a stick block. Umpire doesn't agree. Really a pressure from Anna Stitch. See here is whether experience from some of our players in these sprints will really show. Great tackle. The battle again between Guada, the Argentinian captain, our captain, and Fiona Crackles. Flora Peel gets the ball going nice and quick out to Anna Toman. Back across to Paige Gillett, who looks to hit it in to connect with Becky Manson. She has the ball. I'm not sure what's been given. It's a corner. Woman didn't have won a corner. Four and a half minutes to go. Under this kind of pressure, Jenny Edie's on the pitch. She does hit for Scotland. I, I, I think she could, she could be one to be called. If so, whoever's on the on the left post better be ready. Four minutes left on the clock. This is exciting. Wimbledon with a corner. Far castle to Anna Tome and she slaps it, looking for the R2, and then they have scored. Olivia Chilton, by the looks of it, on the R2. Number eight, Olivia Chilton. Um, that's a lovely well worked routine there from Wimbledon, and if I'm honest, probably a goal that they deserve out of this game. I do think they have been deserving of a goal uh, throughout the whole game, for sure. I, I don't believe they deserve two, though. I'm with you there. And I'm, hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping the score stays at 2 1. Um. Really now, EG just got to manage this. Unzi in the middle saying no keep calm. Score. Round the outside, play to space. Through to Sophie Bray, she's got the ball. Here is where some experience comes <laughs> in. As I said, Bray will know what to do in these moments. Bray just winning a free hit. Looking at the clock, three minutes to go. We're not sure if our clock there lines up exactly with the clock you're seeing on the screen. And obviously it's the umpire's clock we go off, but we are in the last two and a bit minutes of this game. Sophie Bray wins the long corner. Lily Walker stands there. To Mauser. Clear game plan. It's good to see it's executed. Really good hassling from Pippa Lock. Liv Breed gets the ball. She knows where she needs to go. Good hassling again. Good. Strong from Grace Ballston. She wins the foul. Irish looks to take it and just slows play down again for East Grinstead. Undy out to Lily Walker. Lily Walker down the line to Mauser. Receives the ball, rolls Jen Eady. Looks to play it forward to Lockie, who just can't trap the ball. It's a lovely idea. Um, it is a lovely idea. Can almost feel the tension on the pitch. I feel pretty nervous today. I feel quite nervous as well. <laughs> Far worse watching than it is ever playing, I think. Brilliant steal from Liv Breed. Playing, I'm hoping that they hear the calls to go to the corner. Grace calmly plays the ball to Unzi, out to Lily Walker at the back. Walker out to Mauser. 
down the line. That is a big foot there from Jen Eady. That is a big foot. Again, slows it down. So big, big it could big. be a legend, could be a myth. It slows it down. Lily Walker, the aerial, chucks it forward. Liv breeds in behind. They do not have a keeper right now. And that is a corner. Excellent that play. is a corner. Very well done there by Liv Breed. Wimbledon do not have a keeper in the goal. Can EG make the most of this? Going into the final, final seconds of this game. What's the call? It's no keeper. Be, it's got to be G balls. Gracie on the flick. East Grinstead are just sending some more numbers back. Just to, just to counter defence in case a goal does not happen. A couple more numbers back on the halfway line. And that is time. EG have won this game. That EG have won. The girls on the halfway line run up. Can it be 3-1 or will it stay at 2-1? And it's dragged just wide. The game finishes at 2-1 to East Grinstead. Um, do, you think, do you think that was on purpose? Maybe just be like, there's no goalie, there's no point killing anyone. So well done, Grace, for that sportsmanship-like end to the game. And thanks, for everyone, for tuning in. This has been Tess and Ellie. Goodbye. Bye. Lizzie's found a new gear this year and she's showing the academic results to prove it. We know the quiet hours she's put in. Tom is thriving. He's really settled into his new boarding house, made great friends. I mean, he talks too much, but I imagine that comes as a little surprise to you. Her hockey is impressive and the county call-up was completely deserved. She made us all very proud that day. His success with the debating team has definitely boosted his confidence in the classroom as well. But the most obvious thing... And the most important thing is that she's very happy at Worth. Is that he is very happy at Worth. <laughs>